this is yet another important topic in the context of reciprocating pump head loss due to friction in the suction and delivery pipes of a reciprocating pump which we usually denote by hfs that is head loss due to friction in suction pipe and head loss due to friction in delivery pipe hft so we have to find the expressions for this of course you know the expression for head loss due to friction in a pipe from the mechanics of fluids hf is equal to 4 f l b square by 2 g t this is a famous darcy phase batch equation where the small f is darcy's coefficient of friction l is the length of the pipe b is the average velocity of flow through the pipe d is the diameter of the pipe so head loss due to friction in meters of that liquid we can find out by using darcy weiss batch equation now you consider this basic dimensions of uh, a reciprocating pump and its stroke length from the inner dead center to outer dead center it is l so that l is in fact the distance between this inner dead center to outer dead center if you mark here this is the diameter of the circle this is incidentally l is equal to 2 uh, where r is the crank radius okay so now you consider the uh, piston at the innermost dead center that is at the beginning of suction stroke where the crank angle is zero so this oe crank will coincide with oa so oa is the crank uh, radius crank radius and which is of course equal to oe also so crank angle is theta crank radius is r stroke length is l which is equal to 2r then the angular velocity of the crank is omega the rotational speed in rpm is n then capital a is the area of the piston or uh, area of cross section of the piston or the cylinder then which of course you find out from the diameter of the piston or inner diameter of the cylinder d which is known as bore so this is pi by 40 capital d square and then area of cross section of the suction pipe which of course you find out from the diameter of the suction pipe ds area of cross section of the delivery pipe which you find out from diameter of the delivery pipe and then length of the suction pipe ls length of the delivery pipe ld then mass density of the liquid being pumped then acceleration due to gravity g okay now you consider that the crank has turned through an angle theta in this con i mean the configuration shown in this uh, diagram in that case the piston now has moved from inner dead center through a distance x by geometry you can see that the same distance x can be indicated at the crank end by this distance which is marked here as af and this af from the geometry you can write this is oa minus of and oa is incidentally small r that is a crank radius minus of from that right triangle ofe you can find out the base side that is r cos theta cos theta and angular velocity omega of the crank is the rate of change of angular displacement of the crank that is d theta by dt and this is the displacement during the crank angle theta and in this case if you want to find out the velocity of the slider velocity of the piston then you can of course use the equation from elementary mechanics the velocity of the piston is rate of change of displacement with time so dx by dt so this you can find out since x is uh, is given as an expression in terms of theta so you can write dx by d theta into d theta by dt you can use like that so x you can differentiate with respect to theta and then multiply it by d theta by dt and d theta by dt you know that this is omega so therefore you differentiate this r minus r cos theta with respect to theta of course r is a constant you get zero minus then r cos theta derivative with respect to theta is r sin theta 
but cos theta is 